it's day five of my five day weekend over Labor Day and I'm gonna put some grass seed down on my grass because I've been trying to work on this I did it on the dog run side now I'm gonna do it on this side because I had to wait and put tenacity on it to get the dandelions to die now I just have so many bald spots I did put some on one little section here so I'm not going to worry about that section, but I'm going to put it on the rest of it just around this tree circle here. I'm not going to mess with that part because I already put some down, but I'm going to put it around the rest of it. See all these little dead spots from the tenacity and all this. I'll do it a little bit heavier over here because I've already watered it really, really, really good. Um, and I got peat moss to put over it too. This is gonna make a mess. I'm not looking forward to it. the water on it. This part I was going to water by hand just so it doesn't get everything on my porch wet but I can't hand water anything because of this one. You try to attack my water? She's giving an innocent look. Not me. You want to see something crazy? Just the sun. These are not clouds. There's no clouds. That is smoke from wildfires in Oregon. When I woke up this morning, the sky was just red. It was like a pink glow. Kind of sad too, but wildfire season. I got onto Angie's list and I got an estimate on how much it would be to to trim these just to prune them down not cut them down just prune them down real good and either you put in the height and what they are and all this stuff and then it'll one of the companies will give you a quote online. Fourteen hundred dollars. Not happening. I paid $1,400 to get this entire tree cut down. That was twice as tall as those. And they want $1,400 to trim them. <sighs> Gotta get innovative here. Good day. Sunday. That was something exciting. Look at the baby grass coming through. And I think that's grass. I don't know. But I'm going to pretend like it is. Uh oh. <coughs> ah, can you tell I've been outside for a little bit this morning? Um, yeah, I think that's baby grass coming through. I'm super excited. Now, this is what happens. I just learned what a drop spreader and what a 
no, I don't remember what it's called, revolving, where it shoots out. I just learned the difference between those two, and I obviously don't have a drop spreader, um, so I'll show you what happens. Beta grass, where I don't want it to be, because the seeds, this, I put the Noxol granules down there so it won't grow. Well, I'm not even trying to take care of that part, and it's growing like crazy, and the parts I'm trying to take care of, it doesn't grow. My yard's backwards. When you are laying your white rock, you don't, when it gets down to the very bottom and there's just sand, don't just pour it in there like I did, because this is how it turns out. I just thought it would blend in and kind of, you know, mix in with the uh, dirt and stuff, but it's, it's really not. So don't make that mistake. One of my friends called me for the lawn advice. I told her she had the wrong number. Um, so what she was calling me about was putting a little rock path in at her house. And uh, I was talking, she said she got some white and red rock. And I was telling her about the white rock and how to keep it clean. Cause I don't know, I researched it and I figured it out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. This is my makeshift rock cleaning. This is a screen. That goes on your screen door so that animals won't claw at your screen door. And this was here when I moved in to this house. I just threw it in the garage and I was like, I'm not going to need that because <clears throat> when I moved in, I only had cats and they didn't climb up the screen. And our dog, she's so good, she doesn't scratch at the screen because she has a dog door. She can go in and out. And I don't really use the screen door that much. They doors either open or closed so I wanted to clean my white rock and I was like I don't have a one of those rock cleaner sieve strainer things but I got that thing that goes on the screen door I'm gonna try it so I've been digging all this rock here digging it up I have it on here now, this has kind of big holes, so some of the rock is going through. What I mostly need is that white stuff to go through. And, uh, this, so I'm going to take the hose. I'm going to hose these off to see how many rocks I lose in the bottom. No, stay back. Stay back. Stay. Stay. It's a disaster. It's left me speechless. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, let's talk about this, how it's going. <laughs> Wash all the sweat from my eyes. Pros and cons. So the good thing is that this is sturdy and it goes right across my wheelbarrow. So that's nice. But the con, what do I do with all that crap now? I'm not going to pour it back in there and I sure don't want to pour it in my non-white gravel. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that because that's all sandy. Um, the next thing, 
I don't know if all that sand was making it look like this was full, but it's not full. I'm gonna have to get another bag. It did not clean every single rock. I mean, you can see here, it's got um, some grass on it still, cause I'm kind of bad about blowing the grass off after I mow. This is the part I have not done. You can, you can definitely tell a difference though. So if you want to get these really clean, you got to get a wire brush and some bleach and some vinegar and scrub each one. Nope. It's not going to happen in my house. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. But here's another thing. Don't do this at three o'clock in the afternoon when you're already tired. Um, my weekend routine, pick up apples, pick up poo, mow, water. And that's what I've done this morning. Went in, ate lunch. I was like, that's what my friend called me. I was like, hmm. I'm gonna go look at my white rock. And now I don't wanna look at it ever again. So I don't care if it's dirty because I'm not looking at it. Now I'll get out of here and do it in the morning because I know I'll be bored tomorrow morning. Oh, the other con of using the screen is it's wide and if you just get the wire mesh you can roll it up and pour it in better this I had to pick it up by hand because if I picked it up it the rocks would have gone everywhere so I think I'll stick with the wire mesh I just have to go to the store and buy some okay I'm gonna be done because that required a lot of bending over tired when I have to bend over and I'm itchy. I forgot to take my allergy pill yesterday. One of these times I'm going to do a video where you don't see any of the bad stuff or the negative stuff. You're just gonna see me do it really good and I'm not gonna include any of the crud. My videos include the crud that goes along with doing all this, um, but I'm going to work on that because now I can just have fun with it because I'm done cleaning up and now I'm just looking for things to do and I'm going to do it very professionally. One of these times, I don't know when, one of these times I will. Have a good night.